Hello, this is Yaakov Cronenberg, and tonight we'll be doing another class in our series of classes on Virgo Ascendant, and tonight we'll be talking about the ruling planet uh, Mercury in Cancer. And uh, that's a nice combination, Mercury and Cancer. It gives a very sympathetic type of personality. Um, uh, it's a good connection with the Ascendant, their sex style to each other. Both very uh, sort of... Uh, uh, the Virgo Ascendant, the Earthy Ascendant, can join with the watery uh, Mercury. And so it's a nourishing combination. Uh, the Mercury in Cancer nourishes the... Uh, waters the earth, so to speak. It waters the the Virgo, and it makes it a more uh, a more friendly uh, than the normal Virgo type. The Virgo can be very uh, sort of uptight uh, by nature, sort of a little bit a uh, little bit dry uh, and things like that. And so the water is gonna warm it up a little, you know, um, give it a little bit more. Uh, emotionality to the to the horoscope which is a nice thing and a person with mercury and cancer has a very good mind a lot of times they have very very good memories mercury and cancer is one of the best places for the memory they they sort of see things and they don't forget them it's a nice combination usually when mercury is in the pisces so it's it's in the 11th house Right. Sometimes they'll be in the 10th. Right? We're going to see somebody who's got Mercury in the 10th. But uh, for the most part, Mercury is in the 11th. And, and, and in that case, the person with Mercury in the 11th is going to be interested in uh, in groups, uh, organiz- group organizations, things like that. Uh, friendships are very important to them. Um uh, it's also a fairly romantic position because it's the fifth house of the of the partner. So there's going to be a romantic interest also with the Mercury there, with the ruling planet in the eleventh. And of course, it's also money. It's connected with the money that a person makes from their career because it's the second from the tenth. And in in most of the chart with Mercury rising, Mercury also rules the tenth. So the 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 chart will be very connected with uh, with eleventh house affairs, uh, which are you know friendships and uh, hopes and wishes and um, money you make from your career and the children even is connected with the eleventh house. Uh, tonight I want to do the horoscope of a. Uh, very famous man, also very, very successful. He's an actor, We're doing another actor tonight. His name is Tom Hanks. From what I, I've never seen any of his movies. I don't go to movies, unfortunately. But, uh, uh, I heard that, uh, he's like the biggest, uh, box office success in history. More people go to his movies than any other movies, um, uh, around. And so if you look at his chart, you'll see he has a very, very powerful career. You know, I, I want to get something. Some people have very powerful ascendants, and, but they, you know, maybe their career isn't strong. So there they get by on the force of their personality. And there's other people whose ascendants are sort of weakish, but they have really powerful career charts. And, um, they can be very successful in their careers, but being unknown. So here's a man who's, who's actually a very strong chart, very strong 10th house, and also very strong ascendant. Now, his ascendant is strong because the ruler uh, Mercury, in his chart, Mercury falls in the 10th house, the house of Korea. And, uh, and it's in a loose uh, conjunction with, with the sun. So even so, he's got two two sides that the Mercury is bringing him on. One from that it's being in the tenth house of honor, and secondly, it's in a conjunction with uh, the Sun. And besides that, even he, the final the, the dispositor of Mercury is the Moon, and the Moon is in the sign of Leo. 
which is also a popularity, honor. So there's three, at least three major reasons why Mercury in his chart is connected with Anu. And being a, and so that made him very, very popular. And he also has got Venus exactly on his 10th house cusp. And he's got um, well, three planets in the 10th house. He's got Venus, the two, two all good planets. Venus, the Sun, and Mercury. So the Venus is there. They're very artistic, mid-heaven. When you have... Uh, Venus in the 10th house, you always have to right away think about the possibility of a career in the arts. And so he also, he has a very power, if you look at, we talked about some other people before that uh, actors, or we, we did David Copperfield in this series, who had Venus conjunct uh, Uranus, as the, and Venus was the despiser of the Mercury. So it gave him a great amount of charisma. And so you see something very similar with Mr. Hanks. He has the ruling planet Mercury in Cancer. And it's disposited by the sun. Excuse me, disposited by the moon, which is uh, the ruler of Cancer. And the moon is conjunct to Uranus. So it also, you see, he also has that very big charisma. Very, very... Uh, can be very charismatic from that. Right, and so, um, so that's very important to look at. Right, and then the moon and the sun are in each other's signs. Uh, right, if you look at the final dispositor, the moon gives itself over to the sun, but then the sun, being in the moon sign, gives itself back up to the sun, back up to the moon. So the moon and the sun are very, very, almost uh, inter tremendously integrated one with the other. And so the person is very, um, he's very, um, it gives you a lot of success when you have the moon and the sun so integrated, and then the person gets what he needs, right? The sun is going to fulfill his needs, the moon. And the moon, the moon in Leo, he wanted to be very, um, out there, uh, he wanted to be the center of attention and very successful. And he's got, uh, right, he's also got Pluto there, and he's got Virgo. Well, let's not go off into his whole chart, because we're more, mainly, mainly concerned with the, um, with Mercury, because we're here, we're talking about the rule of what you can get just by looking at the, you know, just concentrating on Mercury with Ascendant and, and Virgo and Mercury in the different uh, and Mercury there in the 10th house in Cancer. And so you see they were deposited by the Sun and the Moon and the planets in Leo and the Charisma. You see already you get the, the hint of, of acting in his chart. And I hope everybody enjoyed the class, and I thank them for listening.